Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be drawing Sue Storm. Um, I have actually never drawn her before this time, so this will be interesting. Right, so we're going to start off with the head, as usual. So with a circle, and then remember when when I draw females, I do kind of more of a, a rounded jawline. I'm gonna come in, put the neck right here, and this is kind of where it's gonna join the collarbone right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. All right, so now we've got the neck and the head. We'll move down to the rest of the upper body. So first, before I put her chest in, I'm just gonna kinda do this to line up where I'm gonna have it, and I'm gonna bring these uh, lines, continue to bring them down. Okay. All right. So we're gonna start with her chest here. It's gonna have it rounded right there. Um, right there okay now continue with the sides and for the females the uh, it kind of narrows before it gets down to the to the waist instead of like the the guys a lot of times I would just do like a straight line but for females it kind of narrows to this is where like her belt is gonna be in the waist the same thing with the back it narrows right here so I'm going to do the same thing on both sides kind of put these lines in for where the belt and the waist is going to be all right so now that's down to the, the bottom of the crotch where we're going to put that in okay so now we've got the the waist and the hips are going to come out here and that's going to be they're going to come out wide wider than the male male hips. So we'll do that over here as well. Come down. Alright, so now we have her legs in there. Now I'm going to do her arms. I'm going to start on this side because I'm just going to have kind of laying, uh, laying down to the side. So I have the this is kind of where the elbow is going to be, right about here, this part of the body. There's the forearm, her hand, I'm just going to kind of have it sitting there like there's a thumb sticking out. There's a the hand right there. Okay, now let's move on to this hand where I'm going to have it. She's going to be sticking out and doing one of her little uh, force fields or whatever she's doing with her uh, her powers right here. Alright, so I'm going to start the hand here. Here's the thumb. And the, the palm of the hand is kind of going to kind of be like this. It's like a, we've got a line here, line here. It's almost like a triangle, kind of got a hard line here, hard line here, and then a rounded one for the rest of the palm. And that's just the basic shape for it, and we'll kind of clean it up when we get a little further. But right here, we're going to start with the first finger, then this next finger, space it out a little bit, and you're kind of almost doing the same, same thing. Break it down into those three spots with the knuckles. Now the next finger, I'm going to kind of do more almost more a little more straight but not quite straight and then this one I'm gonna kinda just do bent it's gonna be the bottom so then we can kinda now put a little more detail in the shape of this hand so we've got our hand sticking out it's the wrist area I'm gonna bring that down to the forearm I'm actually gonna change the position of her arm a little bit too because of where I've put the forearm so let's bring that down here now. There's the elbow. And this, of 
course, she in this costume she wears gloves. So let's do that. All right. So now we've got like the basic form. Let's go ahead and do her face, and then I will move into doing parts of the costume. Okay. So put the eyes in there. Got that on in. Now I can place my nose. Remember, I like to use the the eyebrows to help me uh, place the nose on my faces. It really helps with doing spacing. Another thing about the female eyes, I like to do the uh, the eyes a little darker or the outline of them. Okay, so now we've got this. Bring it down to her chin. I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily put the ear in here. The hair may or may not cover the whole ear, but I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily put it in there. And we're looking off to the side. And put her lips in there. Okay, so now it's time for the hair. Part, I'm gonna have her part about right there. Let's see. Okay. Just a little curve. Have it flip out a little bit. And bring it back up there. So part of her ear is getting covered, but not the whole thing. Now I'm going to do the back part of her hair. And now we've got more right here. Now she's had several different hairstyles over the years, so you can kind of experiment and do different ones if you want to. Like sometimes she's had shorter hair, longer hair, curlier hair, so it's just kind of what you want to do there. But okay, now we're going to go into the costume. So I'm going to do one of the ones that's got the big four on the chest. So you see I roughed in that circle and now this is something, especially while you're sketching, because if you go back to ink this later it doesn't matter, but it's this is a, it helps me to freehand easier this way instead of busting out rulers. But you can do the four kind of like you would normally draw the four just do like a thicker you see how I'm doing I'm breaking it up into pieces like here's a long rectangle here's a long rectangle and here's another one so when you're at the pencil stage go ahead and do that because it'll help you kind of keep the proportions easier and then when you come back and ink it you can just follow what you did with the pencils and then erase everything it's the same kind of thing with a circle. Just kind of do a little thicker circle and darken it up. So now we got the neck and collarbone area. She's gonna have this big black collar. So I'm just gonna shade it in with my red pencil here. I'm gonna do the same with the gloves. Hit her belt. And now we've got this last part here, and then we will be done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, Drawing Sue Storm. If there's any other characters you'd like to see or any topics you'd like to see me cover in these videos, please let me know in the comments. And if you did draw along with me, I would love to see your art. So go ahead, if you post that, make sure you tag me on social media so I can see it. I would love to see that. And also think about subscribing if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks again.